How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to build the best event lineup for this all sets event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Recently a few people have asked me how to build a team for this event, how to uh, maintain that 92 overall team restriction and which types of players I would use to make that happen. Um, so that's what I'm going to explain in this video. It's going to be a pretty short video just going over the best way to build an event team. And this has also been a technique that I've used in several years of MLB The Show 23. So basically, this is my team right here, all 99 overall cards. And you can see that it says at the top right, your team meets the event restrictions. And the only way you're able to do this is by using the lowest overall available for this event, the 60 overall players. I stacked my bench with 460 overall guys. Then you can use pretty much anybody you want in your lineup. But I also want to mention that I've built this specific event lineup just to play one event game and then reset the run so I have the same exact team ready to go. I can use the same pitcher over and over again if I want to. That would be if you're just trying to get one win or you're just trying to get parallel XP to complete team affinities or whatever the case may be. If you're trying to get on a streak though, trying to get that brand new 99 overall Snellzilla, then you'll probably want to add in a few extra diamond starting pitchers, right? Because you'll need at least probably three. And then uh, with your bullpen guys, you can kind of plug in a couple extra 60s here, right? I'm not going to typically use six relief pitchers in a three inning game, but you just never know if it were to go into extras or whatever the, the case is, right? Like you're trying to build a team for either one win or build a team for these live series diamonds and the brand new incognito Blake Snell. Um, that's just a few tips and tricks on how to do this. Of course, you can use any set one, core, set two, set three players you want. Um, but that's how I would do it. I would probably just go in and attack it one game at a time. And then, you know, maybe if I had enough stubs, just buy the Snellzilla. It really just depends on whether or not you're trying to play 12 games of this event, trying to win them all, or trying to go 12 and 1. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully you enjoyed. Peace out.